Statue of Limitations is up, buddy. <sighs> Only dummies take the easy route and call me That's a, a conspiracy. Quote, conspiracy theorist. <laughs> but if you do your research, it is quite possible. Look at that fat, fat. Hey, yo, what happened to that boy? Ed? Ed. Ed is dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Get out of here. Dead. I just seen Ed yesterday. No, you seen Ed the other day. Get the fuck out of here. Ed is dead. Who met Ed? I don't know, dog. He just, Ed is dead. He just died. Oh, man. He got caught with a knife in his hand. It's a shame. Ed is dead. I wanted to kill Ed. Did you really? I wanted to do it. Ah, somebody beat you to it. Really, really. Yeah. Hey yo, I go back to Tenement Square And a nigga like me got minimum care All these cats with power is queer I come to hate and ask Mary with a flower in my hair And I love a hippie That they send them motherfuckers from Doc Gov to get me And the average cat can't explain this But I'm calling you baby like Sammy Davis And your argument is weak You get mad like R.C. Walker when I kiss you on the cheek And your cats get served, listen You swap and spit like Henry Kissinger and Merv Griffin and I'm in the cellar, huh? It's evident your president is a pedophile, I'm telling you. You have no choice, you have no voice, but you think you as free as a jaybird. You don't know what nigga this is. That's why you ain't taking this quiz. I'm a motherfucking revolutionary. You should listen to every word I say if necessary. Ed is dead. It took a blood object to the motherfucking head. Ed is dead. Now listen what I said, compare me to your favorite rapper, and you might as well jump off of a building and go splatter, cause I'm not that, see, I'm your mom. So really briefly, I hate to interrupt the uh, Ed is Dead song here, but Wyatt Earp, I know that you've voiced your grievances and opinions constantly in my comment sections, I would love just to be able to speak with you, I don't know if you're uncomfortable with that. Sorry to interrupt this tremendous Ed is Dead intro. It took me a lot of work. It took me like nine hours or so to find the perfect song. Not like five minutes or even probably about like 90 seconds. But Wyatt, I don't know if you're uncomfortable speaking your opinion. Uh, you're, you're constantly uh, telling me what I should do. And I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I don't know if you're like afraid to speak or whatnot. Uh, um, I, I think ultimately, we're going to see we want the same things. Like, I just want to laugh. I know you want to change the world and uh, eradicate it from the likes of Cyraxes and Tonys. And, and, I, and I hear you there, but, I mean, I'm not sure what you really plan on doing about it. Anyways, they got like a, f okay, one second. Holiday Bob Dylan, I got that shit right in perspective. I'm telling you they devils, all the people that you elected. I'm actually begging you to listen, cause they won't hesitate to put you in a prison. Just for speaking your mind. Now is that the America that you grew up in? I think that is a crime. But you think otherwise now, let me tell you something. They murdered MLK, they killed Malcolm X and JFK. I can't say. Enough, they molded your mind like the motherfucking clay. Now is that the American way? Fuck no. Listen, I'm not going to call out a guy who I know isn't going to show up. Uh, he feels a lot more comfortable in the comment section. Um, I'm amazed he showed up in the chat. Um... Like, why? You call me out on a daily basis, telling me that what I'm doing isn't virtuous. I've never claimed what I've done is virtuous. Um, you claim or even believe that you are like this advocate for virtue and justice. And I don't know what you do. I don't, like, I'm not sure what you do. I don't, I don't know what you do. Um, <laughs> So that's the Ed is Dead song. Um, hey, what's happening? Like, truthfully, it's the honest truth. I have always made my content for an audience of one. That's, that's just, you know, as, as fucked up as that sounds, that is the undeniable truth. That is just the way that it is. Um, anyways, 
Marty, if that's your real, <laughs> if that's your real name, uh, yeah. Well, it isn't. I'll tell you that it isn't. It definitely isn't. Um, as Sarah likes to say all the time, it's Nicholas. It's Nicholas. Big Will likes to say it as well. He likes to scream it as if that will affect me somehow. As if people don't know who the fuck I am, people don't already know what the fuck I've done. It doesn't really matter. Um, but Wyatt, I mean, instead of going back and forth and like reading your comments daily, I would like to just, okay, no, hang on. Let me see on the side of the mountain. What mountain? Can I ask what mountain? Are, are you comfortable saying the mountain? Um, I just wish that you could, uh, find the same gusto that you do in the comment sections on a daily basis. And I know that you comment on my videos daily and I don't mean to dissuade you from that, but I would love to speak with you. Like if your goal is to somehow make the world a better place, why go through YouTube? Why go through YouTube to try to make the world a better place? Um, Nicholas DiMardio, correct, exactly, exactly. Um, if, you, if your goal is to make the world a better place, <laughs> why go to fucking YouTube? And what do you th what do you think I do? Like, what do you what do you as far as like bringing things to light? I don't know what you do. I, I just don't know what you Tennessee. Right on, right on, man. Fair enough. Um, I'm not going to ask any further questions because I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Uh, nevertheless, um, yeah, I, I mean, like if you're, <laughs> your campaign seems to be to make the world a better place, that's, that's a great thing. That's a good thing. I really do think that that's like a noble pursuit, but, um, I don't know that focusing time and energy on Cyrax, I go through more than YouTube, but good for you, man. Well, good, then good for you. Respect, much respect. Much respect. I would say that, like, focusing energy on a possum man who never leaves the house, if that is your pursuit and you're saying that you spend these endeavors and your, your energy and efforts on making the world a better place, that, like, why focus on a guy who literally never leaves the house? He is afraid to leave the house. Um, he, I'll, I'll also say this. I would agree that if Cyrus had a billion dollars, Sarx is a dangerous creep. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I would agree with that. He's absolutely creepy. So he's a big creep. He's an absolute creep. No question about it. Absolutely. Why touch grass on? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Um, anyway, so back to my uh, my purpose, intent, and goal of this live stream. Um, I guess I got a message from, from Cyrax and Ed earlier today. I guess I got a message from fucking Ed, too. Um, we want to know. why speak for yourself. We want to know. Yeah, I do, too. I do, too. Like, why? I, I know you constantly seek to find a way to better the world via Cyrax. Like, the set of comments on my videos, which I don't think he, he goes to the comment sections of my old videos and peruses them and reads them and analyzes them. Cyrix Fears recruit and Marty worse than death. I don't think Cyrix Fears recruit, uh, to be honest. I mean, I don't think recruit is over by his house. Um, are you in crumple in here? No, Wyatt, Wyatt, not at all, man. Not at all. I'm giving you an opportunity. Wyatt, you and I both know that you've been in my comment section regularly, and I like that. I like the exchange back and forth with you. I think that you're a good guy. I think that what you're doing is from a place of good intentions. I really do. Um, on the side of the mountain, no high speed, just the data from cell. Well, I mean, when do you get home? I mean, I can, I can, I can wait for you. I don't know how long that'll be. Um, definitely wait for you. I, I'm sorry. I, I've just dealt with a lot of people who believe that dealing with Cyrax somehow is of benefit to the world. You know, that you're going to make a difference by focusing time, energy, effort, and uh, investing yourself for some sort of no, noble pursuit in Cyrax is beneficial. Ed should come on panel. I agree why it is cool. I like why I like the exchanges that I've had with him. I really do. I really do. I just want to have one. I'm sorry. I just want to have an exchange with him. Tommy, I agree. Wyatt is cool. I like Wyatt. Wyatt's a good guy. He, 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 I, I think that he's a nice guy. I think he's a very good guy. I truly believe that, okay? Like, that is the truth. And, and I just wish I could speak with him because, like, I'll say this. The comment section does not provide – it's too arduous and too time-consuming 
to have a worthwhile debate on, I think, is what we want to discuss. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what you expect me to do. I, I, I don't know. I do come in. I think you're a puppet master. I think your heart is a good place. Well, um, puppet master, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to address that one. Um, heart is a good place. I don't know about that one either. I really don't know about that one. Dude, I'm just here for the laughs. Dankness is Miles. That he is. Dankness is Miles. Miles is Dankness. Um, I think there's no Cyrax like you and vice versa. Well, I'm going to say this. Wyatt, I think you're a guy. I'm sorry for spending this much time. I'm going to di I'm going to divert my attention, but welcome. Welcome, Wyatt. I'm going to take the take the comment off of the stream because uh, that's not what this is about. Miles, listen, man. I, I'm sorry, Miles, Wyatt. I do like you. Uh, I appreciate all the discussions we've had. I don't think YouTube is a place that you can really make much of a difference on. I, I don't. Um, that's just my opinion. Like, if you want to fight crime, then then I would do it. If you want to help people or advocate on behalf of children, I would agree. I think that's a great a, a great endeavor. I, I truly do. Um, nevertheless, this is for. I've always done this just for Cyrax, and um, that's what this is about. So Cyrax sent me a message earlier today. Okay. Um, let me uh, pull this up here. And I'm I'm a new big guy. No, you're good, man. Whatever. It's good. It's good. Um, Sark sent me a message. Wasn't the guy upset saying, I'm not Miles? Yeah, that's that's Dinkness Falls. Miles is Dinkness Falls. <laughs> Hang out a second here. Uh, I hate to... Uh, I hate to fucking uh, pull up Dinkness Falls. Uh, but I'm going to do it because... Uh, people need to know that Miles is dankness. Like, it's just... Oh, what is this about to say? No trolls allowed. Okay, good, good, good. Um, yeah, I think Miles is one of the coolest guys I've ever seen. I'm not Miles. I'm not Miles. Yeah, Miles is fucking badass. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Recently, um, here, let me share this here. Uh, people have been telling Miles that he doesn't eat any vegetables. like cause he <laughs> So he's constantly no, showing off. <laughs> Stay it is. He's constantly showing off that he does eat his vegetables. Like, because of the, <laughs> the lettuce on top of his burgers count as vegetables. Like, that's eating your vegetables. Uh, man, Miles, Miles is great. I like Miles. October 20th, Wednesday, at 6.38, we were filming my movie. Yeah, and he calls, he calls his videos movies. That's pretty cool. Eight oh. All right, fuck, fuck, man. I don't know if it's, well, I'd say ADD, but it's probably something else. One second. And uh, I'll give you a tip here. If you're, if you're somebody who constantly loses their lighter, all right, get this. I'm sure you spend like a lot of money on uh, lighters and constantly losing them. I think that some people probably steal them, to be frank, which uh, uh, people, I met one guy. I'll even say his name, too. I'll even say his name because I thought it was the dirtiest shit I've ever heard. His name is Randy Granger. Uh, he was a burly African-American man, and uh, I noticed after... Um, spending and sharing some time with him that uh, and other people have this complaint as well that he would be a, a bit well more than possessive but uh, is avaricious the word avaricious I don't know if that's of avarice um, so like one day I leveled him I was like Randy Ran Randy Granger I don't know how to spell that I'm sure you guys can figure that out going to reach out to him, but I, it's like, Randy, something's up here, because everyone says that, like, yeah, I was just hanging out with Randy, and suddenly my lighter is missing, it's just gone, like, I was like, Randy, listen, man, 
I we've been smoking lots of uh, of the ganja together, and uh, I've noticed that my lighter's been missing quite a lot. It's been quite often, and listen before you deny it. I stroked his ego. I was like, I, I admire it. I see what you're doing. I'm on to you. And I'm not going to knock the hustle. Like, just as a feeler. And uh, this is the quote I'll never forget. This is a quote I will never fucking forget. He said, you never know when you get a free lighter. And uh, we lived in the same town at the time. And uh, I asked, I mean, I used to be a Randy. You used to be a Randy, dude. That's so fucking dirty, dude. That's so fucking dirty. Shame on you, man. Shame on fucking you that you used to be a Randy. So it gets worse than this. I don't know if you are Randy. But one day I went over there and uh, I said, so what do you, I asked him, what do you do with all these lighters? He's like, come on, I'll show you. And he just had a drawer full of them. He just had a fucking drawer full of them. Uh, so, and the question remains, like, so what now? What now? Like, why do you need, what the fuck is right, Lava Girl? What the fuck is right? What do you need to do with a drawer full of lighters? Like, I don't understand if you could resell them or something. I'm not entirely sure. I, I really don't know. I, I'm not, I don't get it. I really don't. I was disgusted at that point, too, knowing that, like, in the span of a week, I had purchased about five big lighters. All right. That's not Randy. That Andrew, that's not Randy. Randy had a scheme. <laughs> it was calculated. It wasn't just like, oh, shit, I have your lighter. That is an entirely different beast than Randolph Granger. That is Randolph Granger. And uh, from Illinois, not sure where he's at nowadays. Um, if you want to find him and tell me he's a sick piece of shit, then you absolutely should. Because, like, it sucks buying lighters all the time. You wonder where they go. You wonder where they go. And um, they all go to Randy. I'm convinced of that. Like, it, Randy is at the top of this fucking pyramid. And if you, <laughs> if you find yourself buying multiple lighters... They probably, they probably, <laughs> target acquired. They probably, Randy probably hangs out around like uh, lesser lighter thieves. I, I guess it'd be like poker. Like, there are probably people who are good at stealing lighters. Um, Randy Boban, fuck Randy, man. There are probably people who are good at stealing lighters. And uh, like, they probably take your lighter. And then they get like, smoking the gondra with Randy and uh, then you probably fucking take some. Nevertheless, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. It's all a waste of time. It's all a fucking jerk off, jack off cum fest anyways. That's right. I refer to this as a jerk off, jack off cum fest and feel free to quote me on that. But nevertheless, I uh, so I guess I got a, a message from Cyrax earlier today. Um, he I tried to explain to him uh, I'm sorry, Cyrax. I, I've relapsed on, on PCP. I've been smoking angel dust again. Marty's a coomer. I don't know what the fuck a coomer is, dude. So whatever, man. That's like complete, completely lost upon me. All right. I'm trying to process this here. I used to fish for people by anchoring lighters, speaker wire to a roommate's desk. What do you mean? Yes, it is. What's up, Tay Loud? Good evening, buddy. PCP is chill. Yeah, it's very chill. PCP is very chill. Um, from from what I've experienced, it's a very um, mild thing. So I mean, like, okay, all right. Sarks wants a link. All right, hang on one second here. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. All right. Hear that beep? Sarks wants a link. All right. I guess I have some apologizing to do here. I guess I have some explaining to do. The fuck was that? Did you hear that? 
Jesus. All right. Let's, let's start with your 43s, people. All right. Minus this uh, recent relapse on Angel Bust, I have been trying to be a good boy. Okay. Um, I think he's probably going to be a little upset with me. I think he's probably going to be a little cantankerous. All right. Nation 43, hey, there won't be any of that, guys. There won't be any of that. By the way, I do want to call out William, a.k.a. Rodrigo, for all that crap he's been pulling lately. Hey, hey, no 43s. Fucking mongrels. Um, Marty going to the wedding, what wedding? Dude, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm going to complete loss for words here. Um, I'll say this. I do think that what I've heard, I've heard that the Cyrax has been a, uh, a busy boy lately. And uh, good for him, man. I, I really think that him and Trish's love has to be pretty special. If she's kept him off of the beloved godforsaken internet. That's the truth. That's the truth. Um, glory hole, whoop, whoop. Listen, call him by his name. It's Rodrigo. It's fucking Rodrigo. And I'm sick of his shit. It's really just out of control. I came back from the dead to threaten Marty. All right. I don't know how to put this. I would understand if Ed wanted some peace. I got that. Rodrigo, thank you. What's up, Cyrax? Marty, listen, dude. Yeah. First off, why did you go after Ed like that? He hadn't done. I didn't go after Ed either. He's done a lot of things to you, though. You want to know I, what I'm doing, Marty? Listen, you want to know what I've been doing over the last few months since I've been gone. Living my fucking it's no, I've actually been living my real fucking life, Marty. It's been a few weeks. If that it doesn't matter, I've actually been living my fucking life and actually being happy for once that I'm not I'm on YouTube. You. I've been happy for the first time in my life since I've not been on YouTube. Okay, I've actually been living my real fucking life, and the only reason I'm on here. Is because my family asked me to come on here and tell you that you need to shut your fucking mouth about it. No, you had no, you had no fucking right what doing did I do? it. And All honestly, right. Marty, if I if it was the old me, I'd be going off on your ass like I you used to. to. But I'm not you. like that anymore, Marty. I'm better than you in every fucking way. I okay, agree. I'm not like you. I don't go around running my mouth like a bitch. You're That's what right you now. do. You're not doing it right now, are you? That's what you do, Marty. Okay. You run yeah, your I'm mouth like a fucking coward. Because that's all you are. You're desperate yeah. for content. Sorry, that's sorry. all it is, Marty. Hey, sorry, you're sorry. desperate for content, just like that little bitch, William Gorey. Yeah, I'm sure that you're pussy. I'm sorry you're pussy. Hold on, hold on, Marty. Like somebody hold that used to have a dick. Marty, why don't you just shut the fuck I'm up? I'm sorry you're pussy. Marty, well, what's your deal with me, dude? Okay, Marty, man. stop, man. Stop, stop, okay. stop, right, stop. Let's calm down. What's let's your calm down. fucking issue with me? I have not done anything to you since I've been away. I don't have one. You don't want one what? I don't have one or want an issue with you. Then why are you doing what you're doing? It doesn't make any sense, dude. Sorry, Ed. I'm sorry. I understand where Ed's coming from, that he wants to die. I get it. No, he does not. Then why does he overdose on drugs? That was what the police report said. That's not what actually fucking happened. And besides that... What happened with him is none of your fucking business. I know, well, I'm now, I'm going to tell you this one time and one time only, Marty. And this hey, also hey, applies to you. Hold on, Marty, Marty, wait a minute. This also not only applies to you. This applies to everybody that's been going after me and everybody I care about. What happens in my life or those that I care about's lives is none of y'all's motherfucking it's business. It's, it's none of your business, Marty. 
So you need to shut your fucking mouth and mind your own goddamn business. Because what happened with Ed is not your fucking I feel business. That William feel- Glory Hall, whatever the fuck you're doing, that ain't your motherfucking business either. Well, I'll matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, hold on, Marty. Matter of fact, William Glory Hall, I hope you realize that here very soon, your fucking fake ass is going to end up in prison for the shit that you fucking done. And if you don't blame me, just wait and find out. Because right now, you have a lot of motherfuckers looking at you sideways, pal. Real fucking sideways. And trust me, William Glory Hole, right now, I'm not the one to fucking push. Because right now, pal, you're looking at about 85 plus years behind the federal fucking prison bars. So if I were you... If I were you, bro, I wouldn't fucking push it. And Marty, fair warning to you, if you don't stop what you're doing, you're going to end up in a very fucking similar situation. I don't want that. You're on your way there, Marty. So unless you want to end up like William Glory Hall, I suggest you shut your fucking like mouth that, you and mind your own goddamn business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a real fucking life to get back to, Clearly. you piece of fucking shit. Hey, 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 whoa. Whoa, Jesus. Oh. Anyways, uh, whoa, shit. Hang on a second here. Whoa. Piece of fucking shit. Well, I'm going to try calling him here if that doesn't work. Anyways, fuck, you know what? Screw that. Sorry, this is my message for you, okay? And that was the goal of this from the get-go. That was the goal of this from the fucking onset, from the inception. Um, Ed had a message for me. He, he told me that he's if I don't give him my address that he is going to put me behind bars. Um, Ed, this message is for you. I want you to know that I understand how it must feel wanting to die every day because dealing with this little prick is insufferable. You probably consider yourself, you probably question yourself constantly. What kind of a weak man must I be to accept toothless oral in exchange for protecting an elderly woman from her freak grandson who beats on her every chance he gets. And if it wasn't for you, that she would probably be murdered by now. But if it wasn't for you, you would probably be murdered. So you get your toothless oral, right? You probably steal her pain medication because she's an old lady. You probably get her Percocets and you probably fucking take them all. You probably take them all. As soon as she gets them, you're probably gone in a week. You probably... You, you probably, as soon as she refills, you probably pick them up and you just fucking drop them down, drop them down the hatch. I don't blame you for wanting to meet your maker. Anything has to be better than what you're enduring right now, dealing with this delusional little shit, this little freakazoid, this little fucking weirdo. <laughs> you, pay, <laughs> you pay for his shit. You are the biggest joke in the world. You probably have never had any sense of belonging in any sort of conventional environment, okay? You, you probably have been shunned by the community. The only thing you can get is a, a seven-year-old lady's toothless oral. But at what cost? How can you live like this? How can you endure this? How can you live this life going around and literally breaking your knees, soaking cat piss through your nasal cavities, uh, uh having to escape this misery because this little shithead has no regard for you or anything whatsoever. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. Hey, Cyrax. How's it going, Cyrax? One, 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 one last thing, Marty. Uh, Let me yeah. ask you this. Can you blame uh, how, 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 how do you think Sarah's going to feel when she sees this shit? You don't think she's going to be pissed at you, Marty? Think maybe, about that, bro. Maybe, and maybe. as for everybody else that thinks that, hold on, die, hold on. Well, let me tell you right now, Marty, and this applies Ed to wants you. to die. Hold on, Marty, Marty, Marty. Just shut up for a minute. 
Ed, this Ed applies to you. Here. No, this applies to you and everyone else, including that little bitch ass William Gloria, who is gonna end up in prison. My oh, life yeah. is none of your guys' fucking business. You're pussy whipped by a dick. It sir. doesn't matter, Marty. My That's life fine. is none of your fucking business. You're no longer a man. What I do in my life outside of YouTube, which, like I said, I'm not even on YouTube anymore. Thank God for that. Because yeah, it are. was getting toxic. And I'm glad that I got I away from it. Right my, my life, motherfucker. My life, motherfucker, is not your goddamn business. YouTube, my life is not your you business. Still on YouTube, sir, it doesn't actually. matter. I am yeah, on here on behalf of my family because they asked me to come on here your and say something to you. So, Marty, if I were you, I'd shut hey, my fucking Roy mouth. Going, Marty, why don't you just shut the fuck Roy up, huh? Slash my slash life slash is not your business. My life is nobody's business. So, Marty, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck off of YouTube. And why don't you do like Sarah said for you to do and get a real fucking life? That's what I'm doing. I'm living my my real fucking exactly. life. So Marty, fuck you. And you fuck mean? everybody that thinks that my life I is asked. their business because my you, life is none of your business. You now, if you'll excuse me, fuck you. Can't fuck questions. YouTube and fuck William Glory Hall. Fuck you. Fuck all you guys. You. I'm bitch out. Bitch boy. <laughs> uh, you know, I've never used the expression bitch boy before. Uh, but anyways. Ed, this message is for you. That was the point of this live stream. I wanted to let you know I don't blame you for wanting to end your life. You look at yourself in the mirror and you consider your social value to be that of somebody who, let's look at pluses and minuses. Toothless oral from a 70 year old Sally. Ed's only 53. Ed is only 53 years old, right? He finds himself slaving away. Cleaning up cat piss for minimum wage. Also, he can give it to Cyrax so he can LARP as a fucking celebrity on the internet. Uh, Love Loom Gloria is the people's advocate. Loom Gloria is very good at what he does. Noel is the best at what he does. Noel is the man. Um, nevertheless, Ed, uh, it's in Cyrax. And I don't want to add, listen, man, There are there's a better way to go about things. There's a better way to go about things. Just leave them. Leave them be. No matter what, you've left them in a better place than you found them. They were sleeping in a car. And, and consider this. Consider that Cyrex is a sexual deviant. That, um, Dead Gay Bill was also a sexual deviant. And Cyrex like, jerks off 15 times a day. He's constantly just beating his fucking penis. I did walk out that door. He did walk out that door. He did walk out that door. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. 100% percent, without a doubt. Um, Sarks doesn't murder two women. You have, oh, yeah, 100%. 100%, man. That's totally legitimate. 1,000% legitimate. Um, confirmed. Confirmed indeed. Um, yeah, 100%. Um, I don't know why I don't have an arrest record. I don't I don't know why that is. I mean, I'd like to see that explained. If I'm this boogeyman, I'd love to see that explained. Um, I'm waiting, Rob Con Rob Constantine, I'll post a link here, man. If you wanna if you wanna speak, I'd love love to hear from you. Here's a link. Here's a link. If you want to speak your mind, it's right there. It's right there. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I guarantee this person will not materialize because I'm sure I know who it is already, but that's fine. Nevertheless. Um, yeah, as far as Ed, I, I totally understand why you would want to find a way out of your skin prison because it's fun to talk with Cyrax on a live stream, but dealing with him, um, as far as just dealing with him, like even for a little bit, it's insufferable. It's really intolerable. He's excruciating. He just goes on and on about this meaningless bullshit. Like, I doubt Leah Simple used that link. No, no way. Absolutely not. I guarantee you not. I guarantee you not. Um, Macy's mother, I guarantee, will not show up. And that's the reason that rumor had to leave the internet because she was doxing children. 
So, I mean, it's tempting to uh, return the favor, but I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm not going to stoop to that level. Like, involving kids is pretty bullshit. Oh, shit. Noel! What's up, buddy? Hey, Marty. Hey, man. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. No time, no tea. Yeah, man. It's been a little while. It's been. I heard you're leaving YouTube. Yeah, I deleted the green snake, but um, I just created a new one. I create my own name. Well, I'll say this: if you uh, fifty-three subscribers be- now. If it's becoming too stressful, I wouldn't deal with it. You know what I mean? Right. It's 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 ultimately a. It's not uh, worth yeah, it. Brian, eat the tack in my channel. You know, I know it gives you like a sense of of. Community, I love watching you and Richie. I, I don't always comment, but you know, you guys, you are uh, it's, it's the dream team, it's the fucking dream team. Uh, I know you guys are friends, and um, I would hate to see you disconnected from that, but like, I don't know, man. I, I just want to see you happy. You're a good guy, you're a truly good guy. Um, yeah. you know, I was like, I, I've, I've never had a problem with you. Noel, you're rocking all those. You're cool, Marty. Uh, Noel, I, uh, listen, man, I, I think you got – it's not worth it, Noel. You don't have to put yourself through that if it doesn't make you happy, buddy. Um, at times, I bet it does, though. I bet at times, like, it probably does, right? I mean, but weigh it out. Definitely weigh it out. Like, if it's causing any sort of actual consequence, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but uh, I definitely don't want to – I feel bad, like, because a lot of these people around here are trolls. Like, I would saying your channel might not be smart. What do you think of Cyrax, by the way? Oh, oh, uh, I did a a beatbox from Model Wi-Fi. He told me to do the beatbox, the track. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah Cyrax. But yeah, yeah, man, that was fucking dope. That was fucking pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I love that. You, you put him in his place. Um, so, uh, I mean, yeah. I've heard, I, I, didn't even want to, I didn't know how to address this. Um, like, I've heard what they're doing, like, with your actual wife and people that you care about. And that's just fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, you've never heard anybody. No. I mean, I'm not always a great person. No, I'll, t- I'll tell you that. So, like, any consequences that come my way, I, I accept them. I accept them. Um, yeah. Like, but to do it to you is just fucked up. It's just absolutely unacceptable. Mm. Oh, Gothic drink. I've seen Gothic drink around. Um. Hey, hey by the way, Cy- so Cyrax, he lives with this guy Ed. Like, he's this fifty-three-year-old man who supports Cyrax. So isn't his son and Sally, who's like an old lady, and and this is kind of sad, but. I think I understand why he tried to kill himself because I just don't think he could take Cyrax anymore. Mm. Yeah, I don't do I don't do the deep stuff. I, you know, I'm I'm afraid because I just need a, you know sometimes a break off for YouTube, but I, I I'll be okay. So yeah, I just I, I just like. Making good videos, try and work hard on it, you know. No, well, you make the best videos. I love like when you put your face over other people's faces. I think that's so fucking funny. I, I, I can't I can't get enough of that. <laughs> can I get enough of that? I like the re faces too. You know, any any chance you got another hot sixteen in you against against Cyrax who said his penis to a child? If you don't have it in you, that's fine. I get it. I get it. <laughs> No. No, yeah, no, I hear I hear you, I hear you. Anyways, like this yeah. his this guy for whatever reason what's the link to Noel's channel? I don't want I was gonna say <laughs> no, don't take offense. Yeah. I don't want to give the link to Noel's channel because there's too many trolls here. Like you don't want a new set of trolls. Um yeah. I, mean, I, 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 had to, I had to go to bed because um I'm a great it's really great talking with you, Marty. I love you, Noah, um, man. You're a good guy, man. I hate seeing what comes yeah, your way too. sometimes. 
I have to I have to work out the Christmas lights tomorrow, so um I I already said on my Christmas tree, but we just decided to do it early because my mom having uh a knee surgery. So so yeah. I'd be I'd be well, okay. I mean, is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she's she's gonna be fine. It's it's just a surgery for her knee knee replacement. She'll be all right. I mean, she, you, you'll be there to help look yeah. after her. And... Of course, yeah. All right. You, you, all right you're no, taking well, Marty. Pleasure, Good to see you, buddy. A pleasure as always. Um, you're, you know, God bless you, Noel. Good man. God bless you too, man. Bye bye. All right, buddy. Um, yep. Bye. Yep. Um, what a sweet guy. I mean, Noel is honestly like one of the, the greatest people on YouTube. He really is. Um. Yeah, very, very angry people less than well. Yeah, I don't like it either. I don't like it either. Um, I, I don't get it. Um, hang on a second here. Uh, what's Noel's channel? I'm not telling you Noel's channel. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm closing the Discord. I'm not telling you what Noel's channel is because there's too many there's too many trolls. Noel is a huge sweetheart. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's a sweet guy. He means well. He's he ever he never has anything bad to say about a soul. It's just fucked up. Um, but people do that sort of thing. Um, and the people who do, I'd kind of like to see something happen to them. Um, to be honest, which uh, um, we often love trolling, but there are some people that are off limits. Yeah, Noel's great, man. Noel's hmm. it's not like that fucking suplex kid, but that's a whole other story. Anyways, just messages for Ed. I understand why you wanted to kill yourself. I would too. I couldn't take that insufferable racket. I couldn't take slaving away working as a cat piss boy. Uh, so you can take home your $8 an hour to buy Cyrax's energy drinks. That just sounds like the absolute worst existence possible. Um, you are 20 years the junior of a 73-year-old lady. Uh, and I'm not sure how often she puts out her toothless oral. But that's just not enough payment to deal with what you have to endure. Um, he's delusional. He's sick. He's mentally ill. There's something wrong. With, there's there's definitely something wrong with him. And why don't you just leave? I can hear the panic in Sally's voice because she knows that Sarx is a predatory piece of shit who will wail on her at every, any and every opportunity that's provided to him and presented to him. It will just happen constantly because he is ultimately a coward. He's a fucking joke. He's a fucking buffoon. He makes all of us sick, except when we're laughing at him. We can't deal with him in any sort of meaningful context. We all despise him with all of our hearts. He is an absolute piece of garbage. Yeah, And Ed, I'll tell you this. I have no regrets for trying to encourage you. Shelly's settlement is long gone, Ed. You don't stick around. That ship has sailed. Yeah, absolutely true. 100% valid. Spot on. Um, so, Ed, listen, man. Um, hmm, I've never really looked at this as sort of a pursuit to raise money, but I don't know what it'll take to get you out of there so you can be comfortable and live free and let Sally and Cyrax live on their own two feet. But I'm going to try to raise that money for you because you don't have to live like this. You do not have to live like this. It is really sick and sad that you've lived a life that makes you feel that you were conditioned to put up with this and endure this. And I don't feel you should have to live that way. Oh, here he is. Hey, Cyrax. Hey, Cyrax. Marty, listen. All yeah. I'm going to say is this to you, man. And I'm not trying to be a fucking dick at yeah. all. But, dude, let's be honest here, man. Yeah. I was actually living my normal fucking life. And, and a lot of people want to know. Money made How much money have you hold made? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me speak here, all right? Because everybody's going to want to know. Hold on, Marty, wait a second. Everybody's going to want to know why the fuck I left. I'll tell you guys. Why the fuck I left? Because your pussy went like, Hold on, Marty, right just right right stop. Right. Marty, just fucking shut up and let me explain. Okay. All right? Just shut the fuck up and let me fucking say something. 
everybody's gonna want to know why the fuck I left YouTube and why I'm not coming back is because for me, YouTube was becoming very fucking toxic. And my girlfriend that has stuck by me through all of this shit, regardless oh, of this shit. Hold on, Marty, just wait. Okay. All right. The reason why I fucking left was because my girlfriend that has stuck by me and has known me for the last four years, who knows me better than I know my fucking she self. She guys. Actually, no, she does not. She definitely no, does. No, she man. does not. We'll see you soon. So, Marty, where's your proof at, motherfucker? Where's your proof? You ain't got none. So shut you the fuck up. We'll be coming the now, day, so if you'll see. fucking excuse me, let me fucking finish. Thank you. Now, the reason guys. why I fucking left, Marty, is because my girlfriend that is actually stuck fucking by me and has been there for me more than anyone showed me what the fuck I was doing wrong, showed me that so your boyfriend me. Shut up, Marty. Seen? Marty, shut the fuck up. You know her boyfriend she's never seen, Cyrax? The one that she's never actually seen? What are you even fucking talking about? Remember the guy before you, Cyrax, the one that her brother felt that would be... Marty, just shut the fuck up. I'm just the truth here, Cyrax. Marty. Marty, just shut the fuck up. All right? First off, Marty, you need to quit fucking you interrupting me when I'm fucking talking. All right? First off, you need to shut your goddamn mouth. You don't want to know the truth, do you? No, what I want is for little motherfuckers yeah, like you. you. No, no, shut up, Marty. Then you won't know. What I want is for little motherfuckers like you and William Glory Hall to let me live my motherfucking life in fucking peace. I left, and which I'm glad I fucking left because I got away from the drama and the fucking bullshit. My personal life is not your fucking business, Marty. It never has been and it never fucking She's will be. Shut up. About. Shut the fuck up. Up, old you man. don't know what she's up to. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, I know yeah. every Marty. I know more than you fucking do, pal. So, you know about Marty, I shut the fuck up. I got hackers, Cyrax. So fucking what? So I know who, what who you doing. got? William the bitch ass Glory well, I know what you're talking about. If you, you, know, do if you, you. Don't want to know, then I won't tell you. You're not Dude, me I me. know she's talking to her ex as a fucking friend. I'm not stupid. More than that, sorry, ex. Then show me the fucking proof on Discord. Send it to me on Discord. Send it to me on Discord, motherfucker. Because right now, Marty, I'm glad I fucking left YouTube. And you want to know why? Because I got away from toxic little bitches like you that think. And I won't that think you. You. No, toxic, shut and the I won't fuck up, old man. Shut the fuck up. Then I won't show you the truth. Then fucking send it to me on goddamn Discord. Friend, Stop yapping your goddamn mouth. Yeah, exactly. Stop exactly. your goddamn mouth and show me on Discord, yeah, motherfucker. Exactly. Do you want to know the truth? Send it to me on Discord so I can see it for myself. Oh, no, no. Don't be posting it on here. Her okay. family's gone through enough. She don't fucking deserve that shit. If right. you're going to send me proof, send it to me on motherfucking Discord. He's not Discord. even the only one, Cyrax. Send it to me on Discord. Not on That'd here. Be nice, Her Cyrax. family don't deserve that shit. That'd be nice. So shut the fuck up. You want to be an asshole? Hey, no, hold on, Marty. As for the rest of you motherfuckers that think you can come in and attack me, attack my girl, attack my family, attack it. You dumb fucks need to get a goddamn life. None of you have fucking lives. That's why you guys are doing this shit. Because you're desperate for views. You're desperate to have me back. Well, I'm sorry, motherfuckers. I ain't ever coming back. I have no intentions on returning to this toxic, piece of shit, garbage ass platform. I am done with you, Marty. I am done with you, Wing. Matter of fact, Wing, you your ass is going to end up in jail for the shit you've done, motherfucker. You can live a lot of so, if I were you, Glory Hole, I wouldn't push your fucking luck, bitch. Because hey, right now, Wing, Glory Hole, okay? you're it's looking at about 80 plus years in fucking federal prison. So if I were you, William Glory Hole, I'd shut my fucking channel down. Because right now, pal, you're on the very, very thin ice of going to fucking prison for the rest of your miserable fucking life. 
And Marty, if you don't shut your fucking mouth, I'll make sure you end up there with him. Because the shit you did about Ed, I can easily catch you for that shit. Because Marty, listen, that right there, I can have you arrested so fast. You make them so fast, but I'm not doing it. You want to know why? Because that ain't my motherfucking place to do so. Now, if Ed wants to do it, he can do it. But Marty, I'm telling you right now, you need to leave me the fuck alone. Let me live my fucking life in peace. And everybody else, all y'all can suck a dick and go the fuck to hell. Do you don't care that Trish is cheating on you? Send me the fucking proof right the fuck now. I you want to see. Know? I don't know if he wants to know or not. I mean, I would imagine them causing a lot of distress, but the simple truth is that she's been speaking with multiple men, including her ex, who is just a friend. He shook. Well, yeah, sorry, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you on Discord. I'm going to tell you on here if you want to know. I mean, give it, give it another ten minutes here to come back, and uh, if you do, then I'll tell you. If not, then you can live a lie. You can live a lie. All right, that's that's what you can do. Lamar Rush. Here's another one, man. He's always in my comment section. Why do you let him talk to you like that? Because I don't fucking care. Why would I? I don't take it personally if a midget man calls me names. Like it's just it's meaningless to me. It doesn't really affect me or offend me or threaten me. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm giving you ten minutes to come back here if you want to hear the truth and the proof. Because uh, when I sober up in the morning, I'm probably gonna say like, you know what, Sirex. It's not right of me to tell you. It's just not right of me to tell you. Um, it's not fair, right? You'd probably be better off not knowing what's been going on behind your back. That's probably the truth, all right? Um, that's probably the truth, Cyrax. So I don't think you want to know what's been going on with your uh, sweet little Trish there. Um and, you know, when I sober up, I'm, not, I'm just not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you because I think you'd be better off not knowing. And that's fine. Um, uh, I'm not going to tell you on Discord. If you want to come on here, I'll tell you. Otherwise, I'm, I'm just – you don't have to know. And you're probably better off not knowing. Um, aren't you going to show the ad messages? Uh, I can read them. I can read them. I can, I can read them to you. Uh, I don't have my Discord tab open. Uh, oh, greetings, Saren. Uh, good evening. Um, how does he expect a long distance girl on Chena Gump? Well, yeah, it's fair. Uh, so what's Ed's problem with you? Ed wants to send me to prison because uh, I spoke the truth about how he would rather die than live with Cyrax and support him and uh, spend of his day, most of his days slaving away uh, in cat piss soaked fields of carpet, uh, just ripping them off the ground. Uh, all for nothing. Also, we can buy Cyrax energy drinks, and it's just not fair. It's just not a fair existence to add. It's just not. Um, if I were Ed, I would totally want to kill myself. I, I, how, how could you not? I would just take the, the barrel of that 22 and just blow my fucking brains out. So any pictures of Trish? Can someone post in Discord? Um, it's a, Trish is a feminized soccer boy who cheats on Cyrax. Marty, you can go in on him real hard. So, Lamar, what do you, th- dude? You're like, oh, why do you take that shit from that goblin? Why do you let, why do you let him talk like that, dude? Go watch something simpler. Go watch something simpler. Go watch something more your speed, right? Uh, it's not like a fucking. I don't really, whatever, man. Ed deserves being sent out to pasture. Go harder. I don't know. At this point, I just kind of want to shine the light for Cyrax and let him know the truth while I'm in this state of mind. Because tomorrow I'll probably think like, you know what? It's better off for him not knowing that this feminized soccer boy has been sending pics of her uh, mutilated roast beef vagina to not just her ex, who according to Cyrax she talks to as a friend, but to multiple men. To multiple men. And Cyrix is just one of a number of patsies. Um, and that's just the way that it is. Lamar doesn't know the difference between Cyrix's actual videos and edits. Yeah, probably. Um, 
man-made junk? Well, it's what it is. It's a fucking, it's man-made junk. It's man-made junk. You do have European viewers, Marty. True. Uh, he needs to know he's being used for his body. Well, that's not even it. That's not even it. I could tell you the sick reason behind it. But I think you need to have second thoughts. I don't know that it's best. I'm having some real uh, trepidation, ambivalence, and uh, reluctance. That's kind of how I'm feeling right about now. Sarks is a sodomite? Yeah, you're goddamn right he is. He, he's, he's just banging that fucking man-made pussy. And he's whipped, he's whipped by, he's pussy whipped by somebody who used to have a dick. That's the thing. He's pussy whipped by somebody who used to have a fucking dick. And uh, he, he's the future ad as far as sadness goes. Um, I'm going to send a quick message to Sarks. He's messaging me right now. I'm tell him. Some proof here. I want to see if I'm working in front of or anything. I'm not going to tell you on Discord. You just called me a piece of shit. You just called me names. That's what I'm going to say. You just called me names. So, no. Okay. Um... Hang on one second. Uh, so what I'm about to say is coming from, directly from Ed, not me. Either hand, either hand over your address, or Ed will have you hawked into court and have arrested, just like William Gloryhole will be in a few months. I mean, personally, I, I kind of hope that uh, Rodrigo gets taken away because he's, he's a real rabble-rouser, that guy. Um, nevertheless, um, oh shit, Noel just sent me a link. That's pretty cool. I love Noel. Noel's a good kid. He's a good boy. Noel's a good boy. Um, I'm sorry, because you don't hold the upper hand here, man. You do not hold the fucking upper hand here. Sarks, if you want to continue to be friends with Serendipity, who is my personal property, you had better take your tone in a lot different tact. Because it's not going to go well for you. All right? I call the shots with Serendipity. And I can have you removed from her life. Just like that. So you don't threaten me with what you tell serendipity because uh, I hold the cards there young man. All right. I don't know why you can't just accept uh, being my personal property. Like she does. It's not so bad. It's not the worst thing in the world. Some people actually like it. Some people find it enjoyable. Uh, I don't know why you can't uh, take the same course of action. I don't know. Marty owns Saren. That is a fact. That is an absolute fact. That is just the absolute fucking fact. Uh, is he scoping out youngins for his daddy? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, so if you just try being on my personal property, there might be some things that you like about it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why you can't accept that fate. It's kind of strange to me that you won't give it a try. Um, if you ignore his message, he'll be forced to come back on, I think. Um, yeah, you know, sorry, because I'm going to sober up tomorrow morning. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Like, I'm just, you can live a lie. You can just live a total lie. Um, you can just bury your head in the sand and accept being pussy whipped by somebody who used to have a penis. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, I don't know if he's going to come back. Um, I don't know if Saren has any objections to being my personal property. It's that is what it is. Uh, but I don't know why you do Cyrax because it is what it is for you as well. And uh, that's that. 
That's that. Femme soccer boys are a snack in the Wilkins household. Uh, yeah, they kind of are. They kind of are. They kind of are. Um, it's like a family thing. Either you go after feminized soccer boys or you are one. That's just the truth. Um, it's all about feminized soccer boys in that household. You know, Sarks, uh, it's, I think you got two minutes left to hear the truth. If you don't want to hear it, then live a lie. If you don't want to hear the truth, then live a lie. Okay? So your time here is expiring. And uh, that's that. That's that, man. Like, you can just continue, continue, continue living a fucking lie. Marissa the Banshee says, My son plays soccer and wing is better stay the fuck away because I got guns. Well, from what I hear, they're easy to convince. So that's that. Uh, Rex can't handle the truth. Would you even want to hear the truth? Would you even want to hear the truth? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. Anyways, listen, guys, it's been real. Cyrus doesn't want to hear the truth in this audience. I have an audience of one. You know, I look at the number. I have an audience of one. That's what it's for. So, sorry, I bury your head in the sand. You'll never know. You'll never know the truth. You'll never know the truth. Live a lie. Live a lie, Cyrax. Continue living a lie. Trish, Trish is faithful to you. What's the next big horse race, Marty? Well, the last one of the year was the Breeders' Cup. Later, Rodrigo. God bless you. Um, so, what do we got here? I know, I know, I know what I'll go with. I know what I'll go with here. Lamar Rush is a fucking retard. Lamar, sorry, Lamar, but you are. Why you do have kids? Oh, well, here he is, Cyrax. Here he is. Okay. Cyrax, you expired your time limit by 15 seconds here. Marty, listen, I'm asking you out of respect for her family, dude. All right? It's out of respect for her and her family. Her family's already been through enough through with this William Gore whole shit, dude. Why do you think I'm coming up here and asking you? With her? Marty, listen, just send it to Discord so I can save the images and confront them with her on my own terms. Okay? That's all I ask. You were late by 15 seconds, sir. It doesn't matter, Marty. There's no time limit, Marty. There is no fucking time limit. We're not on your time. We're not on anybody's time. We're on fucking God's time, man. We're on human time. We got nothing but time, dude. There is no fucking time limits. So, Marty, why, why don't you just do me this? Why don't you just do me a solid and fucking send it to Discord so I can see it for myself, I so can. I can confront her with her if it, if you do indeed have proof. Yes, I would like to see it, but I would like it to be in private so that her family is not catching any more heat than what they're already catching because of William Glory Hole and the bullshit that he's pulled. They've already got enough on their plate. They're, they've already got enough going on with that shit. And her brother BJ losing his job because of William Glory Hole and this and that and the other and him having to try to find a second job. So, Marty, just send it to Discord, all right? That's all I ask. Well, they've you know, already been through enough. You wouldn't want to lose this feeling and how you feel about her, right? Yes, and that's why I'm asking you to send it to me on Discord so that I can confront her on my own terms if, keyword if, you do indeed have proof. But, Marty, you also do need to be aware that I do know that images can be doctored up well, because I've had it done to me. So trust me, I do know that images can be doctored up. So don't think that I'm going to... You know, but take it full blown, but, but I am going to, like, once you send them to me, yes, I am going to ask her what's going on. How do you think I knew about her ex? I don't fucking know. How does anybody true. know about anything that goes on in my life when nobody says shit? You've never said anything about the ex, Cyrax, so how would I know if I didn't have inside information? Then fucking send it to me on Discord. That's all I ask. 
Do you find I don't want it. I don't want any more trouble for her family than they've already got, Marty. That's why I'm asking you to please just send it to me privately on Discord. Oh, hey, because her family has already been through enough as is. They've already gone through enough. I agree with that. And, you know, I don't think that her cheating on you, you know, she's younger than you. She's a lot younger than you. So she's living her wild heydays. And I got that. Um, Right. And and I'll admit, you know, and, you know, I'll be honest. I was like that at one time, too. I've been down that road at that age. And who knows? If this is going on, am I going to drop her right off the bat? I'm that I'll have to take that one up with her. That's all I'm gonna say. But I do know that yes, I am going to have a talk with her about it, and I am going to have a talk with her brother BJ, who I'm very good friends with, about this as well to see, you know, his take on it and what he says. Because I know that he actually, for for being 36 year old, 36 years old, that dude's wise as fuck. Like I'm not gonna lie, like he yeah, actually is very fucking smart. I agree. I and agree. you know, and I can already tell you that he's probably going to have a talk with her. Well, um, so like I said, Marty, just send it over to Discord. And I'll take it from there. Thank you very much. Well, you were 15 seconds late, unfortunately. So I don't think you're going to get it. Um, unfortunately, Cyrax, your time has expired. And it's probably better you continue to live the lie anyways. So, oh. Hey, Cyrax. I do apologize for that. I didn't mean to act so like that. Okay. But, Marty, listen. You said you want me to know the truth, right? I don't know that it's best for you. I think it's probably best to just be one Marty, of Marty, listen. Listen. You, you say that you have this supposed, this supposed proof. Well, how else so now, so now all of a sudden what you're else? withholding also, it. I know that you need to talk to Rex, Cyrax. Like I said, Marty, just send it to my Discord because, yes, I would very much like to see the truth. If this is going on, I would like to see the truth. I really would. But I want it to be in private. That way no one else attacks her or her family. She's already been through enough, and so have they. They don't need this anymore. No. Why do you think I'm asking you to send it to Discord in private? Because, honestly... I would like to keep the private things that need to be spoken about in private, private. This kind of shit don't need to be aired out to the public. Oh. This isn't a public matter. Now, if they had something like, let's say, like take the diss track that I did on William Glory Hole that got passed around Discord. That's a public matter. That can get shit around all at once. I don't give two shits. But this right here is my personal life. And this is my private life, and I would very much like to keep my private life private. So if you don't mind, I would really like for you to send me the proof on Discord in private so I can see it for myself. You say you want me to see the truth, then show it to me in private on Discord. I mean, that's what Saren would want you to do. She wouldn't want you airing this shit out in public. You and I both know that. Well, um, maybe, maybe not, you know. Um, I'll say this, though. Um, I don't understand. This is kind of like a loaded situation here. Like, this Trisha is the love of your life, right? Honestly, dude, I'll be straight up honest with you, dude. Yeah. Like she, I can honestly say this, Marty. She's treating yeah. me better than I'll honestly say this. She's treating me better than half the others have. I'll tell you that much. So I will give. Mean? I will give her that. Like she's literally the one that she's literally like those nights when I was on the edge because of mass hole reports. Aside from my family, 
she was the one that stepped up and told me, hey, you don't need to be doing that shit. She literally saved me from myself. So yeah, I do I do kind of owe her um, I do kind of owe her my life in that regard. I will give her that. Oh hey, I will admit that. So what do you mean but by right now, Marty, all I need you to do is to send me the proof on Discord. That's all I ask. Well, I'm I'm placed in this difficult spot here. If this woman means so much to you, would you even want to know? Honestly, yes. Because, Marty, listen. Yes, I do want to know. Am I going to have a discussion with her about it? More than likely, yes. And I am going to have a talk talk with her older brother about it as well. Because if she is, in fact, doing this, yes, she needs to be talked to. Because if this is going on, this does not need to be going on. And yes, something does need to be, you know, done about it. Does it mean that I'm going to, you know, straight up give up on her? Not exactly. Because we're all only human. We all make mistakes. I've so made my fair share of mistakes. I'm not innocent. You're fine like, I'll be honest. I'll be you. honest, Marty. I'm not innocent. Okay? I was that way when I was her age, too. I did dumb stuff like that, but what kind of, but what kind of person would I be if I just up and gave up on her and didn't set an example? Because maybe if she, if the, if this is indeed going on, it should, maybe she can learn by example. And who knows? Maybe I could be the one to change all that around. You know, just like how Saren, for the most part got you off of YouTube and changed your shit around. Absolutely. But then I fell back into the PCP. Well, like, you know, that, that right there, that's your own doing. Like, yeah, and I, I can't, I can't help you on that one. That's on you. I know that's true. But like I said, we're all humans. We all make mistakes every now and then. And this is her mistake. And if this is indeed going on, I'm willing to help her fix it. Well, she, if this is indeed going on, if she's sending, if she's sending her man made vagina to multiple men, like whenever she's not talking to you, then like it's kind of like, how do you, well, like I said, if you do indeed, if you do in fact have that kind of proof, I would like to see it. But in private, that way she doesn't get put through. The freaking any more hell than what she's already gotten put through because I'll be, I'll be honest with you, Marty. I'll be straight up honest with you, dude. I know what it's like to be judged right. She's gotten judged. I know what it's like to be there because I've been there my whole life. I get that. I understand that better than most, actually. And honestly, I don't want to see her get put through anymore. So you're saying you understand what it's like to cheat because you're a cheater yourself. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I know. No, what I'm what I'm saying is that like the fact that she's in a dark place because of all all the bullshit that she's dealt with. Like, does it excuse what she if she isn't if she is indeed doing this? Does it excuse it? No. It well, maybe doesn't. you can have like an open relationship where you can just send your penis to whoever you want. And she can send her vagina to whoever she wants. Is that something you'd be okay with? That would be something I would have to take up with her. Personally, well, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, Marty. Personally, I don't know because I've never been in that situation. So yeah. I can say I've never been in that kind of a situation. Here you are, sir. Rox. Here you are. Think about it. Let's think out loud. Because that's what she's doing. I'm telling you. Well, like I said, Marty, if you do indeed have the proof, I would very much like to see it. But I want it to be outside of YouTube and private. That way she doesn't catch any more embarrassment and her family doesn't have to go through any more bullshit. Because I'll be honest, her family has gone through a lot and they don't need any more shit. No, I agree. Now, now, like I I said, if she is doing this, yes, I am going to have a talk with her and her older brother and I am going to say something. Yes, how else, would, how else would I know that she's still talking to her ex? I don't fucking know, Marty. How 
How does anybody get the info that they get? Let's be fucking Packing. honest. Packing. Well, Marty, if you do have the info, please send it over to my Discord. I've got the proof, but unfortunately, if you go back and look at the clock here, you're 15 seconds late to the 10 minute deadline. Uh, and Marty, funny. listen, now, let's be honest here, Marty. There is, let's be honest, Marty, at the end of the day, neither of us are on anyone's time here. We got nothing but time, to be honest with you, Marty. And that's something that's been, and that's something right there that I do think that a lot of people let delude their minds is that. Oh, time is running out. We only have so much time. Then fuck oh, sure. time, dude. Sure. We got nothing but fucking time. And we got all the fucking time in the world. So Marty, why don't you do why don't you do me a favor and send it over to my Discord? And if she is doing this, then yes, I am going to confront her and I am going to speak to her about it. And I and I am going to have a talk with her older brother if this indeed is actually going on. But so far, you haven't sent me anything. You haven't shown me any kind of proof. You've done nothing but call me names. And you were 15, you know, like I gave you a certain window. And I honestly. Marty, that's the Marty, Marty, Marty. You say you want me to know the fucking truth. Then fucking spill it, dude. I don't know. Fucking show it to me, dude. I don't know that you want to know the truth. It's probably your actually. Mom. I do want to know the truth. That way, if this is going on, I can do something about it. What can you do? Simple. I can talk to her older brother and show him what the fuck's going on, and What's then from do? there he can take it from there. Because I know, because trust me, I know her older brother quite well, and needless to say, yes, he may have acted crazy. Against William Glory Hole, and for yeah, very Rodrigo, good, for, 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 for understandable reason, I can understand yeah, where he's not from. But, but I do know that when it comes down to this kind of shit, I do know that he does not take this lightly, and he will have a talk with her. He I know that he'll. I know what he'll. He say? Honestly, dude, he would probably get pissed and. He won't strike her or go after her or anything, but I can honestly tell you that he won't be too fucking happy with her. He'll be very upset and pissed off. So, Marty, I think for, you know, not only myself, but for her older brother. I think- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let fate decide this. I just had another beverage. I'm going to get a coin here. Uh are you a heads or a tails guy? Eh, you take first shot. All right. Let me let me hear. Give me one second here. Let me get a, let me get a quarter here. One second. All right. Really, you're gonna pull that shit, Marty? Come on now. I think all my coins are in my car. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, sorry. So I'm going to go. I want to do it three or five times. Let's go. Yeah, either way. All right, so I'm going to let fate decide this one. Because honestly, it's probably a lot to, it's a lot to swallow. Um, so I'm going to say it comes up heads two or three times. I'll tell you. Marty, why is everything... This, this is the one thing I want to know with you, Marty, is why is everything got to be a game with you? Like, why is it that you always got to do this or that? Like, why, can you, why can't you just tell me straight up? Why can't you just tell me the proof straight up like I asked I don't know you? if you'd want to know, man. I don't know if you'd want to know. Actually, Marty, I have told you several times, yes, I want to fucking know. So fucking show me the damn proof already. All right, All right. here we go. So, if it comes up heads. Oh my God, Marty! If you're not, if you're not gonna fucking tell me that, I'm just gonna fucking wait, dude. If you're not gonna fucking show me this shit and send it to me on Discord, I'm gonna fucking bounce. Well, all right. No. So fucking either send it to me or I'm gone. All right, you hear that? 
I was tell. You know, you know what, Marty? I'm just gonna fucking go, dude, because it's pretty damn clear you're not gonna fucking send it to me. Quite honestly, Marty, and unless you send me the proof, I'm gonna think you're bluffing. So you know, unless yeah. unless you're fucking bluffing, I suggest you send this shit to me on Discord and show me the fucking proof. Again, so I can fucking confront her already, Marty. Again, Enough man. of the fucking games. You know what, dude? You know what, Marty? If you're not going to fucking send it to me, dude, then I'm just going to go. All right, so I don't think you want to know anyway. So Actually, yes, I do. But I'm tired of you fucking dancing around shit and playing these fucking games. So stop being around the goddamn bush. Get hey, to the fucking point and send me this shit on Discord. Because, hey, yes, I want to know the truth. Listen, I really do. That way I can fucking talk to her and find out what the fuck's going on. Listen, before I flip a coin the third time, I know how this woman has affected you. Would you really want to lose that? Because these are going to make you ask some questions. That I don't well, know. Like, and honestly, Marty, and you're right, I wouldn't want to lose that. But one thing I've learned, Marty, is this. Sometimes the hardest things in life are the things that we need to know. Sometimes the hardest choices in life are the choices that we need to fucking make. And believe me, leaving YouTube like I did, that was a hard choice as it was. That really was. That was actually very hard for me to do because ultimately I didn't see that I was getting addicted to YouTube like I was. I didn't see that addiction until they, until Trish pulled it out of me and showed me like, hey, this is what you're fucking doing. So if she can do that for me, Maybe I can pull her out of this shit. But in order for me to be able to fucking step up and be like, hey, this is what's going on. This is what you need to stop doing. I need that fucking proof so I can show it to her and be like, well, this is what you're ultimately doing. You need to stop this. You're better than this. Just like how Saren helped you out, Marty. Yes. And you, and you can't tell me that Saren didn't fucking help you out. You can't sit there and tell oh, me that. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Then you of all people should fucking know that if something's going on, like let's 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 flip the roles here for a second. Like let's 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 flip the script here. Let's say that me and Trish are in your position. Let's let the gods decide it. Oh god. Sorry, Rex. Just give me the goddamn truth, Marty. Just fucking send it to me on Discord, right? I'm giving you a good night. I'm going to wish you a good night, Tyrax, because I don't think you can handle it. So, Marty, just send me the goddamn proof, dude. I don't think I want to fucking see it. I don't think you can handle it. Marty, trust me. I've been through so much shit in the last two weeks. You don't think I can't handle somebody showing me something? After everything I've fucking been through, I don't with, think you with want to handle it, Tyrax. And all this bullshit. You don't think that I can't fucking handle a few screenshots? Really, Marty? Really?